What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I'm actually at BJ's here because we got the game day, okay? We're about mm, three and a half hours away from kickoff, and I got to get my meats for my Camel Rider sub uh, for today and get back. I'm going to make some clam chowder because, well, that's seafood, so got to have something seafood from Jacksonville. But we have some interesting news here. Um, I have DirecTV, which um, it's like a love-hate relationship. I love having the Sunday ticket because, of course, we want to see as many games as possible. But I literally had a two-year subscription to DirecTV, and I only use it on Sundays. Unfortunately for me, DirecTV has its quirks and stuff like that being satellite-wise. And my internet, I love my internet that I get from Verizon because I use so much Wi-Fi and bandwidth that I need to have a really good, good um, Wi-Fi system. And so having satellite Wi-Fi, it just won't work for me. So literally, I'm paying for Verizon and I'm paying for DirecTV. Well, the good thing is, is uh, I got it uh, a year and a half ago, so I'm about to end the, the, the relationship with DirecTV because Sunday Ticket will no longer be on DirecTV. And we're sitting here now, literally on the cusp of figuring out what they're going to do next year. And understand, typically, you may be thinking about the Super Bowl now, but the NFL is already thinking about next year's Super Bowl and the Super Bowl after. They plan way, way ahead for everything. For the NFL to be going down to the wire right now for the Sunday Ticket is actually not the norm. But of course, the NFL is all about the money and they're trying to maximize the amount of money that's on there. A few months ago, it looked like uh, Apple TV was the front runner at $3 billion to actually take up uh, the, the Sunday ticket. But it looks like, it appears like Apple TV has bowed out. Now, it's also believed that ESPN, because when we start talking about Apple and Google and Prime, you're talking about companies that are worth almost a trillion dollars. When you're talking about ESPN, they're only worth about $10 billion. So when you start talking about spending $3 billion plus for the Sunday ticket, that's not necessarily the wisest decision for um, ESPN, who has been bloodletting for years and letting go talent. So it looks like it is now down to Google, which of course is YouTube, and YouTube right now is actually going to war. If you are a YouTuber, you know how much YouTube is now pushing shorts. They're going to war, of course, against TikTok and Instagram and things like that. And they're trying to grow their presence as well in YouTube TV. What better way to go ahead and, and grow that is to have the NFL Sunday ticket where people will be streaming. Amazon Prime, of course, which has Thursday Night Football, which is kind of taking the shit sandwich, so to speak. Um, is also in the running, and again, another business that is worth trillions of dollars, or close to a trillion dollars. So it's looking like it's going to be down to those two streaming platforms. Now, unfortunately, um, Amazon Prime has kind of gotten, uh, in, it's one of those love-hate ones. A lot of people love it, you know, love the extra graphics, love the young cast and things like that. But the problem is, is most people don't want to pay for a streaming service on it. And a lot of people who don't have a good Wi-Fi system, it ends up having bugs where you're not necessarily getting the best product. The NFL, well, what they care about is the bottom line. And the bottom line is they know wherever Sunday Prime go, I'm sorry, uh, Sunday, um, where, where, yeah, the Sunday ticket goes, whether it's to Amazon Prime or to YouTube, they're going to get paid heavily for it. And look for this deal probably to be now a bidding war between those two mega companies. Look for this to be probably somewhere in the $4 billion range. And how does that relate to the teams? Well, that'll end up being basically that one deal with about an additional $25 million on the salary cap for each team. Yeah, that's big time. For me, I'm glad to get rid of that satellite dish that's up on my television because I hate that thing. And I'd much rather be able to say, let me go to Google. Let me go ahead to YouTube so I can see all my games. 
we'll see where it goes, guys. But definitely, it's time for the NFL to figure out which one they're going to go ahead and take. I'm Mark Holmes, and well, time to get these meats for this big sub. I'll see you in the man cave.